I studied engineer. I never think about being an artist because that's for bourgeois. You had to make a living. And uh, I finished school. Uh, I, I graduate and find a job, not well paying, but it's a construction company. Uh, I get to do estimating, estimate the cost of a project. I was freaking bored. I, would, I cannot stay awake. And I suffer for like six months. In daytime, I work for Wilder Construction Company. Wilder is a famous Memphis family. They had connection, I think, lieutenant governor or something. But anyway, this man kind enough to give me a job, even though I can hardly speak, even after four years of college. I don't have skill with language. Okay, I always blame on my visual talent, but <laughs> poor excuse. But anyway, this guy kind enough to give me a job, and I cannot do it because I'm so sleepy. It's just against my nature. At night, I went to Memphis State to study art because I love art. I always take like an art class, even as Christian brother. Okay, this is how I think myself as an artist. That, that one of my art teachers, I just take an art class, like a design 101 or something. She gave me a beautiful note. I said, Long, I don't know if you are a better engineer or a better artist. For me, like, ah, oh, that make my day. So, when I work as an engineer at night, I study drawing at Memphis State. Love it, love it. And then, the next year or so, I decided to study art full time. I quit my job, went to UT, University of Tennessee in Knoxville, studied fine art. Half a year, one year later, my brother went to California first, sponsored, he already sponsored my two brothers here, but that year he sponsored my dad and two more siblings from a, a, a refugee camp in Thailand. And I said, damn it, I'm gonna go to California. And that's how I moved to California and enrolled at uh, San Jose State. I'm not a resident yet, so I just study little class here and there, get one year residence, and then apply for my grad program. And then that, that's how I get my master of fine art in painting and print making from San Jose State. So basically, these are the later paintings. The earlier painting is all about the Vietnam War. Um, I have a lifelong series called uh, Tales of Yellow Skin. It was uh, inspired by this song by the famous Vietnamese uh, uh, music, uh, music writer, Trinh Công Sơn. There's a song called Young Vietnamese Girl with Yellow Skin. Người con gái Việt Nam da vàng. So I, I'm, I say, okay, I, I love that. I love the color yellow. It can, you can make, yellow is so rich, it can, you can make it gold, cadmium yellow, or you can make it very earthy kind of yellow. So, and I'm very lazy in nature, so I said, okay, I want to make me a lifelong series. That way I don't have to name each painting. I just call it yellow number skin, yellow, tail of yellow skin number one, and I go on until I'm, I die. So, uh, this is probably number 40 something. So the first 10 is all about the Vietnam War. You see a lot of bloody figure, a lot of fire, you know, a lot of sad emotion. And then slowly it become uh, very organic with uh, the organs. So you have the hand, the, the heart, you know, different kind of organ. Uh, body part, the string together. And then the, the organ now become more abstract. So you, don't, you cannot make out what it is. You see these little flower things, little thing with tentacle. It could be coral, it could be rock, it could be bonsai. I love everything, all the form, 
from nature, so I copy them. And so it's kind of cir circular. And there's another one that have a lot of circular theme. Things are flowing around on the sea of yellow. And so right now I have about maybe 50 something paintings. I hope one day we can show it all together. That'd be awesome, right? Thank you for watching. Hi, my name is Duc Nguyen, the director of Forever Spring. This project aims to build a public conversation about mental health and intergenerational trauma caused by war. We are still seeking funding to complete the film, so please consider donating. Every contribution, whether small or large, makes a difference. You can click the link below to make your contribution today. Thank you for your support and your generosity.